Today we're going to be doing a red velvet cinnamon rolls. Um, so I'm going to see if this yeast is alive. Mm, going to proof this yeast. We have uh, one tablespoon of yeast. One tablespoon of sugar. Three fourths cup of warm water. I'm going to stir it. And um, let it sit for five minutes and see if we are alive. So it's actually been 10 minutes, but as you can see, our yeast is alive and well, and we can proceed. So to this, I'll add one teaspoon of salt. And a half a cup of sugar. Oh, I probably should do it that way. But um, now I'm going to stir it up. And then I will prepare the um, other ingredients. In this bowl, I have one tablespoon of red food coloring. Can you see it? Okay two large eggs, three tablespoons of cocoa powder. I'm going to add to this one cup of buttermilk, one third cup of oil. I use canola oil, one teaspoon of vanilla flavor, one teaspoon of butter flavor. So this is what it looks like all mixed up together. And now I pour it into oh, the yeast mixture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm just mixing it together. And the next step is just going to be adding the flour. Um, I don't have an exact measurement of how much flour I actually use. It's making a mess right now. How much flour I actually use. Um, but I start with like three cups and then I just go from there until this, the dough is no longer sticky. So right now, I just have three cups of flour in here. Um, three cups of flour to make my dough. <clears throat> but as I go on, um, I'll do like a half a cup of flour at a time until the dough's not sticky anymore. All right, so my dough is finally together. My bowl is greased. Um, I'm gonna, I needed it for about five minutes. We were in here. Ooh, I wasn't here letting off some steam, but um, yeah, I'm gonna let this rise for about two to three hours. It's kind of warm today. Um, I am going to put some plastic wrap over my bowl and just let it sit out for the first rise. The first rise is done. It's been a few hours. Um, I have some flour on the cabinet to roll them out. My filling consists of a whole stick of butter, two tablespoons of cornstarch, some brown sugar and some cinnamon but i don't have any measurements on those i may even add more brown sugar and cinnamon my rolling pan here's my glove <laughs> the filling is complete now it's time to roll it up and let it rise again All right, so they have been filled. 
rolled and cut. I did spray the bottom and the sides of this pan. Um, they will have to rise a second time. There is not a true number that I can give you to as to how many um, you cinnamon rolls you can make. It all depends on how you cut them, the size that you cut them. I did a few mini ones. I made a few larger ones. They can be cut up larger than that. You can even cut them smaller if you want. Um, I have, it made more than this. I have more in another pan that's not full. What I'm going to do for the second rise is let them rise overnight. Once we, once I wake up tomorrow, I will bake them and make the glaze for them. And, um, eat them. <laughs> All right, so I let these rise for the second time overnight. <clears throat> and this is what they're looking like. They're pretty big, even the mini ones <laughs> are pretty big. <clears throat> um, the pan was a little bigger. They wouldn't be as squished. So I have the oven preheating, 350. I'm gonna bake them for about 15 minutes. While they're baking, I will be making the glaze. I'm going to do a cream cheese glaze with just vanilla, cream cheese, butter, salt, and powdered sugar. All right, so 15 minutes later, here we are right out of the oven. My frosting is done. Well, icing, glaze, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> it's prepared. So I'm going to pour that on. Finally, after all of those hours, the finished product. Um, I guess I do have like a tip if you want. Um, before you frost them, you can go ahead and cut them. Um, it's not something that I did today, but <clears throat> that's um an option. I enjoy love 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 cinnamon rolls but when i say it's time consuming but in the end it's definitely worth it so here it is tt's homemade red velvet cinnamon rolls um that does not use a box red velvet cake mix hope you enjoyed <laughs>